Hello everyone. This is Devanshi and you are watching Science Cube. As we all know that the energy is the ultimate need for all the living organisms to survive on this planet. The absence of energy will cease all the metabolic, physiological and physiochemical processes of the living world, which is why the energy constantly keeps on flowing from one trophic level to another. The circulation of energy between different organisms can occur either via food chain or a food web. Even though they both portray the energy flow, these two differ widely from each other. So come on guys, let us find out what are those differences. Firstly, let us understand what is a food chain. We can define food chain as a simple sequence of energy flow from lower trophic levels to the higher trophic levels by the repeated events of eating and being eaten. The food chain is the most elementary and uncomplicated way to represent the energy flow. It is a linear pathway that manifests the movement of nutrients and energy from one trophic level to the next. Talking about the food web, the food web is a complex representation of the energy flow that summarizes all kinds of basic food chains. It portrays the actually occurring interactions among the various species in the real world. The food web is not an isolated or linear sequence in any ecosystem. Instead, it is interconnected, interlocked and has multiple trophic levels at the same time. It is a more realistic and dynamic tool to reveal several different approaches by which the biotic factors stay connected. Now, let us discuss some key differences between food chain and food web. If we talk about the meaning, the food chain is a simple representation that illustrates the passage of nutrients and energy in a linear way. The producers initiate this energy flow and it ends with the apex consumers. Almost all the food chains begin with the producers that are present at the basal level. These producers are generally green plants that are capable of performing photosynthesis. On the other hand, the food web is an elaborative presentation of energy flow that depicts the interconnection between several food chains. The food web is often referred to as a consumer resource system. It is formed when various food chains operate simultaneously. For instance, the sun provides its solar energy to the plants, which they convert into the chemical energy. This chemical energy is then transmitted to the succeeding trophic levels and this way the flow of energy goes on. This sequence or series of events depicting who eats whom in a hierarchical way is known as a food chain. In contrast, the food web creates an intricate but accurate network between already existing food chains in the ecosystem. Here, a single species can perform different roles and can be present at the multiple trophic levels. Thus, it is a more precise display of what really occurs in the environment. It provides the optimal condition for any species to enhance the adaptability and competitiveness which increases the organism's probability of survival. Talking about the number of chains, the food chain consists only one straight chain whereas the food web comprises many interconnected food chains. Similarly, the food chain has limited that is 4 to 6 trophic levels of different species. On the other hand, the food web contains numerous trophic levels of different populations of different species. In food chain, the organisms of one trophic level solely depends upon the organisms of preceding trophic level for their food requirements. On the other side, in food web, the organisms of one trophic level never completely gets dependent on the other trophic level for their food. Usually, in a food chain, members of higher trophic level solely depends or feeds upon a single type of organisms present in the lower trophic level. That means every particular organism has its specified consumer and if we eliminate one of the intermediate organism, the upper trophic level will die automatically. This might disturb the whole energy flow. In this way, the food chain increases the chances of instability in the environment. Whereas, in the food web, the members of higher trophic level depend or feed upon many different types of organisms present in the lower trophic level. One trophic level never completely rely on a single species for food. Thus, if any one species is removed from the food web, it would not bother the energy flow among the other trophic levels. Moving on to the types, 
the food chain can be of three main types predator food chain parasitic food chain and saprophytic food chain on the other hand there are multiple types of food web including energy food web functional food web connectance food web interaction food web etc so guys that was all for today hope you found this video interesting and informative if you like the video do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon do like share and comment your suggestions in the comment box until next time this is me devanshi signing off